All right, so the video you're about to watch is actually a clip from my stream last night. And by the way, I'm going to be live streaming now on Twitch for everything for Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battle, Warzone, uh, Grand Cross, any other game. Every stream that I will be doing will be live on Twitch for now on, not YouTube. So if you don't already, go follow me on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. But I was talking about the three year anniversary and what my predictions were for the three year anniversary. So. Pretty much, this is just a summary of it, and it's going to be a little bit shorter of a video than normal. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about it, and yeah, let's just get right to the video. I I, I firmly believe that we're getting, just to knock this out of the park right now, I firmly believe that we're going to be getting SSJ4 Gogeta, okay? SSJ4 Gogeta is the LF unit. Now, it is possible that we are going to be getting LF, or two LFs, you know, like the new years i'm hoping we don't but there is there is a chance i'm guessing that they're not going to do that and they're only going to do one lf just like anniversary second year anniversary so ssj4 gogeta i believe is going to be the lf on both banners again don't be surprised though if it's if it's the other way around i think that one of the banners is going to be gt themed and it will be featuring ssj3 kid goku not this one specifically just in general ssj3 kid goku i think is going to be on one of the GT banner. Now the other, the other character, I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure about. I'm not entirely sure about. The other character, I'm thinking could either be SSJ4 Vegeta, a new one, because we have three SSJ4 Gokus in the game right now. We have three SSJ4 Gokus. Like we have a green, a purple, and a yellow, an LF yellow. And this man only has one. We only really have one SSJ4 Vegeta. So. I think we are due for another SJ4 Vegeta. I personally thought he was going to come on the LF SSJ4 Goku banner as just another side character, as like one of the two side characters, but they didn't give us any other side characters. They just gave him, gave us the LF. So I think he could be due. We could be getting another Omega Shenron. I think this is the least likely out of the three that I have. I think this is the least likely option. Uh, my, other, my other option was baby. My other option was baby or a new baby. The two that I think are most likely going to happen are Kid Goku right here, SSJ3, and SSJ4 Vegeta. I think these are the two likely, you know, options as the featured characters on the GT banner, along with the LF SSJ4 Gogeta, of course, to be featured on there. Now, on the other banner, I think we're going to be getting a Tournament of Power themed banner. Tournament of Power or Survival, Universe Survival, whatever you want to call it. I think we're going to be getting that with a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Yes, I think we're finally going to be getting Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta in Legends. I don't think he's going to be an LF. I think he's just going to be base. Now, if they do do this banner and they do do two LFs, then I think he would be the candidate for the LF, but that's my other option. This is, I'm just talking about if he's not an LF, you know what I mean? So just talking about one LF, I think he's going to be featured on it. And God of Destruction Topo is going to be the other character featured on the banner. I don't know. I don't think we're getting MUI. I don't think we're getting MUI. MUI is too soon. Now, if Super Saiyan Blue, or if they do two LFs, so GT banner with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and this guy for the LF on the tournament of power banner i think the side characters in that situation would be god of destruction topo and full power jiren i think full power jiren would be a good candidate to just start i don't think he's he, he's worthy of being an lf unit but i don't think they would give it to him yet i think they're going to release two different versions of him and i think one's going to be lf and one's not going to be lf i think they're going to save the LF version of Full Power Jiren later on when MUI comes out. MUI is very unlikely to come out, especially with all the hints and everything that they're doing. They've been pretty much saying, you know, they've been hinting at GT for a minute now. They've been hinting GT, you know, upgrades, and they even said we're working on GT specifically for the near future. So I think that means that we're getting definitely this guy. It's like a 95 to 98% chance. Like, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't. I don't see why you wouldn't. But yeah, I don't think they're going to add full power Jiren just yet. I think if they do do it and he's a base character, I could see it. But again, I think 
they are going to release two versions of full power experience and i believe one will be an lf one won't be obviously and i think the first one we will get will be an lf so that's why i don't think we're going to get him on this banner specifically you know what i mean so i think he's going to come out probably like with the anniversary one with mui and then one banner with mui and then one banner um with full power gear and both lf units because he is lf worthy he is certainly lf worthy definitely 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 100 lf worthy so yeah those are my predictions that's just that's what i personally believe that's what i think let me know what you guys think down in the comments and also what you guys think um in chat right now